Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Photoshop uh, series that I'm going to be creating here for you all. So in front of you at the moment we can see the actual website that I uh, actually finished while I was on holiday all working. So I'll just quickly take you through it before I, I show you how to build this. So we've got the logo here and we've got Google AdSense. So if you want to make any money on your website you can put advertising up here in the top right hand corner. Then we've got the different uh, page tabs here and then this bit here, the featured section, is uh, a slider. So you've got a back button over here and you've got the uh, next button here. So if I click this, you'll notice it changes to another featured item. So you can have, have as many as you like in this and all you have to do is keep clicking that and it will cycle through each one. Now obviously, obviously I've only got two in there so it's only going to cycle through two. And again, like I said, if you do back, it will go back to the previous one. Now come down a little bit more, you've got the three uh, sections here, so for gaming, mobile and desktop. Then you've got some links underneath each, underneath each one. And underneath that you've got the main latest news section here. And I decided to integrate Twitter into each of the posts as well. So as you can see here we've got the title and next to it we've got a tweet button. And it tells you how many times that particular thing has been tweeted. So if I just come down the page again we've got the, the Wii U. Uh, the Sony 3D TV, then we've got the footer at the bottom, which is quite a simple footer, uh, and we've got a Twitter and a Facebook link here. And then over here on the right hand side we've got the trending topics, which is the same as what it was previously. So like I said, this, this is what we're going to be building, so if I just minimise this. So here's the actual design in Photoshop. So there's a few things you need to install first of all, so the first thing will be there's a special font that I use uh, on this site, so if I just zoom in slightly and if I come here, this uh, font here on the mobile, if I press the T for the text tool and select it and you'll notice that the font here is called Alla uh, so it's a free font you can download from the internet so what I've actually done to save a lot of hassle, all of the things I've used to create this layout, so the fonts the images, all that good stuff, I've actually saved in a folder that you can download from my website so here is the assets folder and inside of the assets folder you've got the ala font so here's the different variations so bold, bold italic, uh, regular, all that good stuff and then we've also got icons so these are the icons I've used in the actual design so this is just a couple of the icons from the icon set that, that's also available to download so if I go here to wireframe icons and into this folder you've got black and white so if I go to the black ones and then PNG and here are all the icons for that particular icon set so if you want to add more icons you can get them all they'll all look the same because they're all from the same icon set we've got all these different arrows and tags and all that good stuff so if I go back you've also like I said you've got the white ones as well so if again we come into here and we've got the white versions so that's the icons and then all of these images here so if I just make this so we can see them so these are the icons that I used uh, for the design. There's a couple in here that I, I didn't end up using in the end, like this iMac one here, this MacBook Air. So like I said, they're here available to download because uh, I can't remember where I actually downloaded them from the internet. I think I just did a Google, Google Images search and found them. Um, but like I said, you can download them from here. So that's that bit sorted. To actually install the fonts, all you have to do is go into the Ala folder and then just basically double click and then all you have to do is click on the install and then that will install it into your fonts folder on your PC. Uh, make sure you install them all. Uh, once you've done that, we're pretty much ready to go. So if I just minimize this. So another a couple of things we need to do as well is we need to rearrange these panels because the layers, there's going to be quite a lot of layers. So if I just pull the layers panel out, and if I show you what I mean, if I just drag that down, as you can see, there's a lot of layers in here. Now, with it being down here, um, you can't really see that many. So, we, like I said, we just need to rearrange uh, the way they look. So, what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to get rid of a few of them. So, if I just pull that one back out. So, we're going to get rid of the channels and paths one. So, I've dragged it straight out. I'm just going to click on a cross. So, that'll get rid of that one. Uh, and then I'm going to pull this one back. And I'm going to attach it to the left-hand side. Um, a little blue line will appear. I'm going to let go and that's now snapped it uh, to the left hand side of these panels here. 
Um, so we've got that bit sorted out now. So if we need to, we can just collapse it down like that to get a bit more space and then just re-enable it back out like that. And then the other thing we need to add, we need to add a, another window which is called uh, Info. So it's this one here. So I've added that in. Now the, the reason I'm using this is because we're going to be uh, using different measurements for different pixel heights. So having that open uh, saves a bit of time. So another thing we need to do, if we go to Edit, and this has gone off the screen, but go to Preferences and go to Units and Rulers. So there's two things in here you need to change if you haven't done so already. The rulers needs to be set to pixels, and so does the type. And if we click OK, so as you can see here at the top, we've got a ruler and we've got one here on the left-hand side. To actually turn those on, if you hold down Control and R, that will turn them on and off. So if you make sure that they're turned on, that will help us out later on in the design. So as I was saying earlier, if we, we can collapse down these different panels. So if I collapse this one down, that column goes to icons and we've now got more space to view the actual design. And if we need to get to a particular one, say the info one, we can click on it, do what we need to do and that stays open. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. In the next episode, we will actually start and actually build the website. So we'll concentrate on the, the header at the top with the, the logo and the actual text that's next to the logo. So thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.